Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. So what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York, Chris Weidman! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 4 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Dominic the Devastator Reyes! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. That was a jab. Two shots there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And he landed the right hand there. A little single collar tie there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, 
who has the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the devastator Dominic Reyes. Effective strike there by the All-American wide. Battle for position here. And they separate. Nice leg kick land. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Well, the NFL's loss, the UFC's gain as Dominic Reyes lands another huge kick here tonight. Another big kick, and look at the size of his legs. Could you imagine getting kicked by this guy? You see that real big bottom half. That's a football type of body. A guy that's used to running with the football, not only using those running legs to land those damaging kick and strikes. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over two minutes to go in the round. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Another shot lands upstairs. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Wow. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by the All-American wide. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Let's go. Final minute of round one. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Battling for hooks. Oh, nice! Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice straight punch. Nice little short up up there. Lands the right hand. Big hit kick. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice one-two there on the feet from Dominic Reyes, and with every strike he throws, you just see the confidence grow. It's grown because, again, Dominic Reyes has not done this for a really long time. He's still getting going, but you see, every time he walks into the octagon, he's getting better and better and better. Just misses there with the left. Nice. Takedown defense holds up. Clinch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh. Nice kick. 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Able to land there with the straight left. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Good punch. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done. He's done. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Beautiful kick. 67 total strikes have found the mark for Dominic Reyes. While misses on 60% of the strikes, landing with just 40% accuracy Whoa! against... So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Wyman's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just over two minutes to go. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Seconds now to go in round two. The ground and pound has been there all night. Lands with the ground and pound here. Now to go. Forty five seconds remain in the round. So not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Beautiful strike. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. to a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 
Oh, he might be out. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Wyman's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent to shoot, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Nice strike. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, that's a good right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, missed on that one. Throws the right hand there. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Well, these numbers just continue to pile up. 128 total strikes have landed for the Devastator Dominic Reyes. Just below 50% now in terms of the accuracy rate, landing 46% tonight against Chris Wilder. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the way. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a pick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. up, but he looks dazed and confused. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Nice guillotine to tip here. He's attacking guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flute choke here. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Wyman's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Fifteen seconds to go. Final seconds of the fight.
the official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30 27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Dominic the Devastator. Well All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had.